This year's Minecraft Live was met with some mixed reactions, and for a few reasons. From the entire show basically being leaked, to people not thinking that enough content was shown, to footage of the Minecraft movie which people still do not like, and even Minecraft Live not being live. That's right, so let's start with the one that's had the most contention around it lately, the amount of content that we saw at Minecraft Live this year. I've seen a lot of people trying to justify a lack of content with the belief that Mojang actually has more content already done and they just didn't show it. Like people saying that what we saw at Minecraft Live was only a small teaser for what they already have done, or that they have an entire another drop already done and ready to go, and that this was just Mojang giving a little glimpse of it. Because, by the way, for clarification, the Pale Garden and Creaking update is not the major update for this year. This is just going to be a content drop, so not 1.22. We still don't know what 1.22 is, and we might not find out until Minecraft Live in the spring. But anyway, I really hate to be the uh, crusher of hopes here, but what Mojang showed at Minecraft Live this year was everything that they have done. That was all of it. And this is also how Mojang has been doing the past several Minecraft lives, so it is a bit confusing to me that people think that this one is different for some reason. But no, what we saw at the show was everything. That's not the excuse. The more reasonable explanation is that, well, if you actually take what we got at this year's Minecraft Live and compare it to the previous ones, it's around the same amount of content. A lot of people nowadays seem to care a lot about quantity for some reason with Minecraft updates. I personally don't really. But still, this is a normal amount of content for us to see at a Minecraft Live. It's around on par with what we saw at Minecraft Live 2022 for the reveal of the Trails and Tales update. Although, it is a bit less than what we saw last year at Minecraft Live 2023 for the reveal of Tricky Trials. Why? Well, there's a few reasons. First, obviously, game development is pretty unpredictable. You never know what kind of setbacks you might end up hitting. Second, this Minecraft Live did happen several weeks earlier than they usually do. I think that's pretty important to keep in mind. Not to mention, with last year's Minecraft Live, it actually took several weeks for us to get all of the content that was shown at it in snapshots and previews. Meanwhile, this year it's looking like we should be getting all of the content soon, right after Minecraft Live. Resulting in a gap of a bit over a month, which certainly explains there maybe being slightly less. But honestly, the content that we did see in Minecraft Live was pretty good. It's around the amount that we should have expected, so I don't really know why people were expecting so much more. I mean, by all means, you can hope for more, just don't expect it when there isn't really any reason to. But there is another reason that it felt like there was less content, and this is the next shortcoming of this year's Minecraft Live also. That being that literally all of the content that we saw in the show got leaked early. There were literally images from the show of every single feature up on Reddit, of the Pale Garden, the Creaking, the New Wood Set, the Creaking Heart. Everything was already there. It all got spoiled. Meaning for those people who were really invested in the Minecraft community, there were zero surprises at this year's Minecraft Live. Every single feature that got shown off, we'd already seen it. This might have been the biggest problem with the event, really. It straight up took away all of the wow and surprise factor. For the people who cared the most, there was no shock and awe. This really harmed the event. The supposed lack of content wasn't really a problem, at least not to me personally. Because, again, there really wasn't one. But having these leaks and knowing that it wasn't an end update like so many people had hoped for, I imagine it kind of felt like going into a battle knowing you were gonna lose it. Just a pretty unpleasant feeling. But wait a second, 
I said earlier that images of the show got leaked early. How's that possible if the show is alive? Well, spoiler alert, it isn't. Despite being promoted as a live event, Minecraft Live was pre-recorded. Which honestly didn't surprise me, but I imagine it did for some people. Which also kind of harms the connection between the community and Mojang, right? Promoting something as a live event. That creates a sense of connection between the developers and the community. Like they're listening to your voice in the chat as they speak. Like they can hear your thoughts and feedback. And then by just having the event be pre-recorded, that's kind of just a betrayal of trust. I'm sure some people don't really care. I'm sure some people do. I wouldn't really say there's an invalid way to feel about it. Although I know the modern day Minecraft community loves saying that people's thoughts and opinions are invalid. That's besides the point. The final thing with this Minecraft Live that a lot of people didn't like was the footage of the Minecraft movie, or sorry, a Minecraft movie. I mostly just care about the game, the community, the developers. I I'm not that invested in the movie, in all honesty. I don't think that many people are. Most people just like to make fun of it. And yeah, I gotta say, you could immediately see the reaction in chat when they were showing off the Minecraft movie and talking about it. Yeah, people were not happy for that part of the show. And I can kind of understand why. Right, when we just had the trailer before, like, the visuals were one thing, them not looking good, but we still didn't really know what the writing was gonna be like, and even if the visuals look bad, writing can still save a movie. But this was like a full scene that we got to see, and... Well, it gave off the vibe that it was kind of made exclusively for kids. Which is weird, because when we saw the filmmakers talking, they were all talking about how much they loved Minecraft as adults. And I know that most people who are active in the Minecraft community and play Minecraft a lot aren't children. Especially if you ever play in a civilization event, you'll see the statistics with your own eyes. So, it's weird, right, that they want Minecraft and the movie to be for everyone, they want the game to stay alive for, essentially, forever, and then they're, like, acting like it's only for kids when, of course, you can write things that are child-friendly but can also appeal to older audiences, that's very doable. But, yeah, to summarize the reactions in chat, during Minecraft Live were overwhelmingly negative for the most part, people very unhappy with the movie, a lot of people saying, wait, that's it, when they showed off all the content, or wait, where's the end update? Uh, but after the show, the opinion does seem to have shifted a little bit to more people being happy with what was shown. So that's good, I guess. The more people who are happy in the Minecraft community, the happier I am. So, all in all, I don't think it was a bad show, but it definitely could have been better in some areas. But that is all I have for this one. Have a nice day, I hope to see you all in the next one, and for now, goodbye.